Okay, so let's talk about how to use textures in Ableton Live to create a really simple, easy to use keyboard setup. We could go a little more intense if we wanted to, we could dive in further, but for the sake of a simple, easy to use example, we're gonna start here. Now to hear any of these sounds, I'm using four sounds from our textures collection. All I need to do is go to the record arm button for that track and I can play and hear the sound. If I want to use more than one patch together, all I have to do is hold command or if I'm on a PC, control and click uh, those different record arm buttons while holding command down. So those are all those three tracks armed. Then I can go back through and de-arm them. Now this is really easy and great to use when we're previewing tracks, but not so great in live use. We can't reach up and use our mouse. So what we want to do is we want to use the keyboard assign function that's built into Ableton Live to assign keyboard keys to these arm buttons. So what we're going to do is go up to the right hand corner of our screen to key here. Anything that turns orange means we can assign a key to it. So I'm going to click our first record arm button. This is how incredibly simple this is. I click that, then press 1 on my keyboard. Click our second one, press 2, press 3, and then press 4. To get back out of key assign mode, I go back up here to the top and press key. Now to hear sound 1, all I'm going to do is press 1 on my keyboard and then play. Now if I he want to hear sound 2, I press 2. That pulls up sound 2 and automatically disables sound 1, so I'm not hearing both of those at the same time. But if I did want to hear both of those at the same time, all I have to do is press 1 and 2 on my keyboard at the same time to load those up. So let me show you. Here's 1 and 2 at the same time, and there's those patches. If I want to go to patches 3 and 4, I'll press 3 and 4 on my keyboard at the same time. And if I want to hear all of those patches, I'll press 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I can disable them one at a time. So we just have pad two. And it's really incredibly easy to use. If you want to take this a step further, then assign these same buttons, our record arm buttons. We can assign knobs and faders to an external MIDI controller. The way we would do that is go up here and press MIDI assign. Anything that's in kind of this bluish purple can be assigned to an external MIDI controller. So that's a really simple, easy way to get going with how to use Ableton Live and textures from Loops and Worship to create a really great keyboard setup for live use.